Hello guys and gals, me Mudahar, and welcome to Deep Web Call of Duty. Now, uh, I figured I'm going to make this video because uh, we looked at a couple of these gaming things on the Deep Web. We looked at Sonic and Tails, we looked at RuneScape, and one of the things that I wanted to really, really try out out of everything was uh, the IW4X we found on uh, the Deep Web. Now, initially, I thought that this was some clear web link or something, uh, you know, mirrored on. But frankly, if you're looking at the screen right now, you're looking at my desktop and whatnot, we actually have a connecting to Tor thing going on over here. Ladies and gentlemen, this is a version of Modern Warfare 2 that runs uh, using the Tor network. Well, not really, I think. I think it just updates through uh, Tor. But ladies and gentlemen, we have a Modern Warfare 2 client that actually uses the deep web as a uh, part of its infrastructure to operate. But here it is, it's starting up, ladies and gentlemen. I'm gonna put the, put the little headset on over here. As you can tell, it's fucking, it's got its own like introductions over here too, so. Gonna, is it, uh, is that it? Oh wait, hold on, it like froze up. But here we go, we got it. I made my account over here. Now if you look over here, we got mods. It's got bots, but I don't know how to activate that. It's got a theater mode, which uh, just lets you play old games again, even though it's not like the theater mode of today. It's kinda, it's kinda like weird. Here I got, uh, here I got my character started over here. I got my name, I've got title, I got my level. I'm level two at this point, obviously. Uh, let's see, uh, my KD's actually a little high. I got eight kills and two deaths, although I think it's probably because I played with fucking bots or some shit like that, I don't know. Now you can unlock your stats, get yourself max experience, prestige, unlock all weapons, but I actually kind of like leveling up in these games anyway, so I'm gonna keep that shit. Uh, I'm, I'm gonna keep that shit where it's at. It's got more graphic options than fucking regular base COD, alright? Everything, everything is all good. Uh, but I'm gonna back out over here and show you guys some of the actual stuff. Now, I thought nobody was gonna be playing this, but I'm a little wrong. Right now, as of recording this video, we've got about 95 players online on the game, which it's still a fair bit. Now, if you look over here, a lot of people are playing Search and Destroy. Uh, but I got like 307 ping, so that's, that's fucking not happening. But right now they got Nuketown, they have Terminal. So without keeping you here for too long, we're actually going to go right into the server, join up. You know, a lot of people might think that I play this game uh, a lot, which I do. Back in the day, this game used to be the fucking shit. Now over here, as you can tell, it's fucking really high. The FPS boost on. Oh, that turns off graphics and everything. Dude, I can run Modern Warfare 2, dude. Get the fuck out of here. But as you can see over here, we got this match really started up. We've got an extra FOV. I don't think the AK-74U is in the base game at all. Oh, shit, dude. They got they got fucking ready up here. Oh, got that fucking kill, dude. But as you can see, it's running by fine. Which leads me to believe that we're not actually playing over the Tor Relay. Because if we were playing this game over the Tor Network, we'd be kind of fucked. Because it would be really laggy. Like, our pings would be through the roof. But it works really, really fine, so... I'm thinking that they only use Tor to basically update this game. Just because Activision is really copyright Nazi heavy. I'm getting kind of fucking molested right now. Let's see what else I have. I have the M40. Oh, dude, I got the TAC. Oh, I don't have Commando Pro. Fuck. That's not going to happen. All right. Ah! Uh, oh, shit, dude. Actually, compared to the base PC version of the game, it plays a lot better. Oh, fuck. I got a gun picked up just dry out of nowhere. All right, wait up. Let me get my AK-74U back. Holy fucking tits, dude. Oh, I got an assist on that, though. All right, not bad, not bad. All right, give me the heartbeat sensor, bitch. Oh, my God. This game brings back brings back a lot of fucking memories, dude. I remember, like, with the first time I started the, uh, the channel, though. This was, like, a game that I used to play whenever the videos rendered. And y'all know, back on the crap top, videos took forever to render, so I could get, like, a good solid couple levels out of this game. That, and it was also, like, related to the Splinter Cell video I uploaded recently. Like, it, this is, like, one of the few games that I had. Damn, dude, I fucking destroyed him, bro. I'm probably the only one getting hyped up over, like, four kills. All right, I got a care package. I got everything. Now, if you look at the bottom left, we actually have, like, custom games running entirely on this. So it's not, like, base Modern Warfare 2 on the PC where everything was wholly regulated by Activision. No. All right, here, I got a little level up going on. It's actually dropped. Oh, fuck it. That's why I hate using care packages, dude. I always get fucking destroyed. I was only ammo. Fuck that shit, dude. Now, interestingly enough, they have this weapon over here, which is the... This is actually a sniper rifle from the first game, which I do not believe was ever in the second game. So, even playing the deep web version of this game, you can tell that they have modified... Uh, they, have, they have completely modified weapons as well, too. 
which is interesting. Of course, it definitely is. Like, they got Gold Desert Eagle. Well, I believe the Gold Eagle was in the original, like, MW2, but as far as some of the weapons go, they're actually not available at, like, they're, they're, well, the old weapons apparently are modded the hell into this game, which is pretty fucking impressive that it is. Let me see if I can get one sniper kill, god. Alright, one sniper kill. Come on now. Wait a minute. Oh, shit, dude. I'm getting fucking butt fucked somewhere. Now, it comes with all the DLC, which I didn't know some of the DLC even existed for this game as well. Because uh, it has, like, I know that the, some of the flashback maps existed. I didn't know that, like, some really old, old or, like, different maps existed. I'll show them to you as time goes on. I'm trying to get one sniper kill. Can I, can I look out over here? Is there gonna be a dumb fuck that shows up in this bitch? Oh, fuck, they got a predator, dude. Wait a minute. Whoa, where did- Oh, that predator went out over there. Okay, I thought they were gonna fly it into us. Be like total cunts and shit. Alright, they got a harrier. Let's hope nobody gets a nuke or something. Can I look down over- Oh, damn it! Wait a minute. Where am I getting shot at from? I fucking got panic knife, dude. Oh! Got that long shot, dude. Oh, that was a headshot for a second. Damn. You know, like, I gotta say, compared to, like, the PC version of this game, there's actually a lot- that could do is, like, tack knifing. Here, let's steal his class for a second. Marathon, stopping power, steady aim. Hey, that's the first time I've seen this idea of a class. Oh, damn, that class destroys. Jeez, nice picks. I think even some of the guns are a little, uh, similar as well, too. Uh, like, some of the guns have different reload animations for some reason as well. Like, I feel like there's definitely a lot of liberties taken with modding this game. Alright, so here we go. Uh, I think we're gonna go with the FAMAS. Alright. Oh, here we go. Task Force 141. We're spawning in, I think. No, no, no. They're, they're getting their shit set up. So, welcome, Muda. Alright. Alright, welcome indeed. <laughs> AI Zombies Extreme. Alright, let's see what they got. So, map, run downtown. Oh, god damn. That's a thick-ass zombie right there. Now, the thing is, is that, remember when I showed you the modded PlayStation video? They would have almost had a similar type deal in that- What the fuck is up with his head, dude? He's like bobbleheading right now. See this shit? God damn. That's a weird- <laughs> They're all just gangbanging this dude. Come on, man. You got a model 1887. Fuck his day up. Alright, here we go. Speed Cola. We've got Steady Aim. Uh, money. Okay, so I got a bunch of cash. Let me see if there's a... Where's a random box here? Gambler. What's this? What the hell is Gambler real quick? What the fuck did that do? I think I got screwed on that one. What's this? Ammo-matic? Double points? Oh, that's the random box. I think I got fucking j j gypped on that. Alright, let's go get a random wep. Oh shit. Oh shit. Where are they coming in from? Oh, damn! Hold on, hold on, hold on, give me it. Alright, shotgun? Hell yeah, dude, in a zombie apocalypse, shotguns matter. Oh shit, dude. This is actually pretty sweet. So this is basically headless terrorist zombies, I think? What the hell is that? multi Oh. Yeah, this is like a modified version of zombies, but it's actually pretty damn good. Here, let's get some of these fun- Oh boy! They're like headless fucking terrors. It's so cute. Wait, I'm gonna get that max ammo for us, boys. Do you even level up in this? No, I don't think you level up in this zombies mode. That would be fucking weird if you did, right? Alright, what is this? Upgrade your M1... Yeah, hell yeah, upgrade that shit, dude. Alright, give me the upgraded weapon. M202... Oh, it's got like little pack-a-punches for everything. Oh, that's pretty fucking sweet. Hold on, let me uh, get a different weapon. Yeah, I'm sorry, buddy. I'm, I'm gonna take that weapon first. Uh... Oh, Vector, dude. This thing is destructive. All right, here we go. Let's do this shit. I don't think these maps are really terribly difficult in the end of the day. Wait. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Gotta back off. Gotta back off. That dude's got a G18. Smart choice. This is actually really nice. Like, you could kind of... You know what? Why is it that, like, all the good versions of Call of Duty are either on the deep web or fucking China? Like, what... What reality do I live in, dude? Oh, dude, that fucking terrorist! That infidel ran hardcore at me, dude. Now, I don't know how these guys are getting kill streaks, though. That's a little weird. Uh, I don't know how the kill streak options in this were. Nukes? It's just dropping a nuke right now, dude. No fucking nuke! <laughs> what the fuck is this? Oh, shit. Oh, I went back up! What? 
That's crazy. So, like, they have the nuclear weapon from zombies, but they actually have an animation. Another one? <laughs> Bro, <laughs> Clarity's got it covered, dude. Wait a minute, what's this? Juggernog. Well, I could use some Juggernog. Oh, man, I'm getting fucked up right now. So that was obviously the uh, the zombies map that I really, really fucking liked, actually, to be honest. They have more shit like Cir Circo Zombies. What is we, W? Did they have fucking like Gary's mod and shit in this too? Like, goddamn. All right, they got something called I Snipe, which is kind of kind of interesting. I, I wonder what that really could be. All right, AI Zombies Extreme. That's what we also looked at. This was an underpass. I don't think I want to see another Zombies one. What is GFFA Sniper? I think so. Vato Gaming, I Snipe SND or I Snipe TDM. And then they have like an all game mode server and that's about it. But in the time that I was recording this, about 154 players actually joined into the Call of Duty fun. Now you go back into it, you can actually create out your own games, obviously. But you can change them out to like uh, different maps and everything. Everything you play gets saved, so like you can obviously play it for later. But if you look at it real quick, they got like Rust Long, Rust, Rundown, Quarry, Overgrown, Karachi, like Karachi they got, which is one of my favorite fucking maps on Call of Duty anyways. Uh, you got something called Freighter, which is a remake of the map Wet Work. I didn't know that existed, actually. Um, then they got, like, multiple versions of Crash. So they got, like, Crash from COD 4, but then they got it on Tropical Mode. And they've got Estate, but they got Estate Tropical, which, again, it's kind of interesting. I didn't know that existed. So I feel like these were modified maps created by the community themselves. You go all the way around to Afghan, Block, Bog, Carnival, Chemical Plant, which I didn't know existed. I didn't even play the map Storm. Uh, and that's about it. So like you got a bunch of different fucking maps that you can play over and over again and like fuck around with But as you can see we're on the, the zombies modification, right? So we're gonna go around over here see what we can do. We can change the game mode And again, this is a really interesting part. So if you notice they have something called global uh, thermonuclear war Which was actually a cut game mode uh, If you guys I think it was cut from the PC version. It was supposed to be on the PC version and launch I don't think it ever made it basically you would just capture a nuke and let it blow up And I think it had like the amount of players as ground war So it was like a huge fucking like battle well huge for call of duty standards Yeah, you, you know, change your fucking options all that kind of shit. Let's enable third person I guess uh, And we're gonna try doing this real quick. So it's got run downtown. It's got all that kind of stuff I don't see run downtown here anywhere though, which it's kind of fucking unfortunate, but I'm gonna see if we can open up like oil. No, not oil rig. Even though I'm surprised that actually existed there too. They got New Town, of course. That's like staple cod. Uh, Karachi. Let's try Karachi real quick. Can we do that? Or maybe run downtown. Oh no! It crashed my game. Fuck. <laughs> God damn! It crashed it. Crashed it bad. Oh, zombie round starts. Oh shit! Hold on. Wait a minute. Oh damn! It like. War oh shit! Oh, you see that? So it's like, it is like the PS3 mod that I played. Every uh, zombie has its own little section. So here we're at like a corner of Kar Oh shit, dude. You know what? We're gonna have to play this with the boys. Let me tell you. We're gonna have to play this with the guys. Guys, if you if you watch my videos, which I know you guys do just to make fun of me, Kyle. Please, let, let's please play this fucking game. Oh my god. What is it? They got like different things again. Like got power. Oh, activate the power. Like, oh shit. Oh shit. I did not. I did not know this, dude. Oh god damn. These are some fucking wacky ass terrorists, dude. ISIS upgraded their zombie game, bro. <laughs> what the fuck? Wait a minute. Oh no. No. I don't want to get fucked. Okay, I got to survive at least one round, right? Like, come on now. Get out of here, dude. I ain't scared of you bitches. You see this gun? It has fucking six shots of freedom per round, dude. Well, per round. Per chamber. A fucking idiot, dude. That's what I am. Wait, one more example left? Alright, where are you, Bin Laden? Let's hunt your ass down, dude. Fuck, dude. Bin Laden's an elusive fuck. Where's he at? Oh, shit. I drowned, dude. Bin Laden got the best of me in this game. So, ladies and gentlemen, apparently we have a Call of Duty game that's run off of the uh that uses tor to basically spread itself so activision can't fuck it in the asshole now i didn't expect to make this video i didn't even expect this to exist but i managed to get my hands on it run it and it took like no time at all again there's like a guide you can follow it's pretty fucking easy to do it they actually you just download the launcher run it on your 
Call of Duty, which you actually have to legally own. Now, the thing is, is, uh, I don't, I don't know what to really say about this other than it's actually really freaking sweet. And I gotta wonder, it doesn't even go down to the fact this is the deep web version of COD. Activision, why the fuck are the good versions of your game locked behind the dank web in China? I don't fucking understand. But, um, for what it is, it's a standard, re like, revamped version of Modern Warfare 2 multiplayer on the PC, which desperately did need a revamp, considering how bad Activision kind of, you know, fucked that PC side of the game. So, hey, if you ever want to play, uh, if you ever want to play good Modern Warfare 2 on the PC, guess you go on the deep web. There's about a hundred something people playing. In fact, if I go to join game right now, yeah, there's about a hundred, twelve people currently playing across 34 servers. So, with that said, there's not much more for me to really tell you guys about the situation. It's, a, it's an interesting little look on Call of Duty. You know, the fact that COD has a fucking version of its game that players, the community, has created a modified version using Tor to really spread out and create Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2 revamped for the PC. There's not much more I can say other than I had a fun time fucking playing, and hey, I, I, it's not often I can say that about Call of Duty or any game like it. So, that being said, if you like what you saw, please like, comment, and subscribe. Dislike if you dislike. Thank you for showing up. This is me, Mudar, and I am.